Hey guys, what's up? I uh, Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. This is going to be a mass dragon attack, so it should be interesting at Town Hall 10. Uh, you guys have probably already saw a lot of this war from the Live on War Day video, uh, showed some live attacks from that. My first attack was a 3 star, so I'm looking to continue my streak. I currently have a streak of 3 Town Hall 10 3 stars in a row right now, all on legit bases. So, um, that would be incredible if I could keep it going, get a fourth here. Although this attack, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. We'll see. Basically, the idea is this. I'm going to start off with a baby dragon right here. Take out those two buildings, kind of tank for the archer tower. Um, drop down my queen right about here. Um, she should walk uh, south. Let her just kind of make her way down. This air defense is in range, so she can take out that air defense. And um, if everything goes right, she should not target a wall this spell factory or this elixir pump should bring her around the corner after the air defense and she should continue walking uh should be out of range of the inferno that shouldn't be an issue either although if for some because the inferno range is like right like that so if for some reason she does get in range i do have her ability if i need it but i probably won't just let her keep walking down this direction she shouldn't take much damage there'll be four healers on her um shouldn't have to use a rage or anything i'm thinking then, as everything's making its way down, as the queen's approaching, drop a wizard here, drop uh, my king right on this uh, storage, and then send in my wall breakers, open up this wall right here, and the king should kind of lead the queen on in. They both meet up in here. I probably will rage them up just to get some extra value. I'll also pop the king's ability, and the goal is to uh you know get this air defense taken out obviously get these two teslas maybe which i drew in and get that archer tower um so that that should be attainable i think i can get that taken out especially with no cc troops they will be out of range it's all valks and goblins so nothing to target my dragons which is nice and uh my my kill squad my heroes i guess won't trigger the cc which is also nice. So yeah, that's kind of the first part of the attack. As my king and queen are moving in, as soon as I can, I'm going to drop a dragon here, dragon here, um, lava hound, and then just spam in my uh, six dragons. I have eight total, um, so I'll send the two kind of off on the sides, then six up the gut. And uh, from there, just going to rage them up right like that. I have three rages total. So assuming I use one on my kill squad, I will have a remaining two for my dragons. So I'll rage them early, probably two just right off the bat. Um, I think better to rage the dragons while they're still alive. The Lava Hound should tank for a while. It probably will still be up even after my uh, the air defense goes down. So it should do some pretty good tanking for me. And... Some of the expos are on ground, which helps, and I'm just kind of hoping the dragons make their way through. The king and queen probably won't be up, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. I'm going to zap quake this last air defense, so I'm bringing uh, three rages, two lightning, a quake, and a poison. I'll poison the CC or the queen, probably, because the CC should not come out at any point during the attack, and I think that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the plan, guys. Hopefully, it works out for me. Not sure exactly how this is going to work, because um, it is a dragon attack. I don't think I've done one in war yet, but these level 5 dragons can take quite a bit of punishment, and they definitely deal out a good deal of damage. So let's make sure I have everything. Got the dragons, the healers, wall breakers, that one wizard, a minion for cleanup. Um, CC troops are good. Yeah, I guess I have a balloon in there, which is fine. Have the quake, and uh, yeah, everything looks good. We'll see how this one plays out. Um, the base is number 8 we're taking a look at. This war pretty much over, as you guys might have saw towards the end of the Live on War Day video. Looks like we have the, the, the win secured, so um, I guess I can try out a little bit of an unorthodox attack instead of just doing miners or something, which probably would be more reliable to be honest, but <clears throat> I, I think this might work, you know. I have a hunch about it. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So let's go ahead and uh, get this going. Okay, one last time. Looks like I have everything. Okay, and check the Inferno range. I don't think my queen will get in range of that. Yeah, I don't think she's quite gonna... Okay, I think we're good there. Yeah, alright, I think we're good. Okay. And away we go. Let's get the baby dragon down. Actually, my queen's going to go right on the corner there. Okay. Baby dragon. Queen. 
one, two, three, four. And now we just wait. Go ahead and zap Quake up here, actually. Here she goes. She should target that air defense as soon as the cannon goes down. Step on up. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Come on, keep going and target those. Don't target the wall. Okay, she is in range of the Inferno. Okay, she's out. Okay, let's get the wizard down. Let's get the king down. One, two, three. Let's get the rage going. Pop the king's ability. And dragon, dragon, lava hound. Send these guys in. Rage them up. Get the queen's ability ready. This actually looks pretty good so far. Pop the ability. Come on, queen. You can get even deeper, actually. All right. All oh, the CC troops are coming out. Dang, what are they even targeting? Come on, dragons, roast those Valks. Oh, I don't even know what's happening, guys. Um, I'm going to rage up these dragons as they keep moving through. All I have is a rage and a minion, so better use them wisely. There are going to be some traps. Yeah, there's some seeking air mines and stuff. But we have the rage down on these dragons. We'll see how they do. Come on, guys, you got it. That Tesla, there's not that many. There's just some Archer Towers, the Inferno. Uh, they are hitting all these traps. Ugh. If those CC troops didn't come out, my queen might have got some more value for me. Um, I'm out of anything to drop. That last dragon going down. That's going to be a fail. I'm actually kind of... That, that wasn't that bad of an attack. I am definitely, you know... I wish I got the three star, but that attack actually went almost better than I thought it would, to be honest. I had some reservations, but it actually went pretty well. Had the queen gotten a little more value, um, I might have been able to uh, to get the three star. So let's take a look at this again. Um, I'm sure people were happy to see an interesting attack like that. Let's take a look at it again because it went pretty well. Go ahead and fast forward to the start here. There goes the baby dragon, the queen with the healers on her. Um, she's just going to sit back take out these buildings. One of the great things is no expos in the area. Didn't have to use a rage. Also, this point defense is relatively low level for Town Hall 10. Uh, there goes the Zap Quake. Didn't quite get that Archer Tower taken out. I might have been able to cheat my Zap Quakes a little bit towards that Archer Tower just because the air defense was lower level, but I didn't want to risk it. I wanted to make sure that air defense went down, so just went ahead and dropped it directly on it. Just got the air defense, but that was probably fine. Uh, Queen continues on Right there, I got a little bit nervous, but uh, she goes out of the range once again, so she's fine. Um, just watching this to see if any differences could have been made in the uh, deployment of the king in that rage. The rage might have been a little bit early, but there goes the wall breakers, uh, opens up that compartment. The king is doing good. Um, he actually, the healers peel off onto him, which was kind of interesting. So the queen takes out that uh, cannon. Then she and the king both kind of walk in. The rage might have been a tad early, but I think it was okay. The queen's sitting back in it for most of the time. Uh, so the value is fine. The, the healers get up there. They heal the king up with that rage. Uh, there goes the air defense. It goes down. The king busts into that next compartment. Probably would have been better if he didn't go off to the side like that, but at least he's tanking for the Archer Towers. Lava Hound makes its way on in. It's tanking. The Dragons, the funneling was good. They're all in that one group besides that one on the storage out there. Uh, the Queen actually steps up and gets the Defensive Queen taken out. Now, what triggers the Valks to come out? That's the question. I guess it's the Barbarians. As they make their way on in, they come out there. They trigger the CC troops. Or what? Okay, yeah, the Barbarians right there. Um, that was really unfortunate. Uh, we'll see if the queen, she is pretty low on health, it's just the Inferno targeting her. I think she might have gone down to the Inferno eventually, but the Valks definitely speed it up. Um, 
yeah, it's probably unlikely she would have got in there and taken out the Inferno because she would have had to go through the wall as well. And even the Inferno does enough damage to probably take her out by then. So uh, not that big of a deal. There's the next Rage. I thought the placement was fine. Got them uh, raged up for the Teslas, all that damage in the area. It's just a lot of traps in that area. I think, yeah, number of Seeking Air Mines, a number of Red Air Bombs, not enough juice to get the job done. I'm not sure if balloons would have helped it or not. Probably not. The dragons were the right choice, just bringing eight of them. Uh, just couldn't quite get the job done. I'm not sure what adjustments could be made. Maybe maybe with the kill squad a little bit. Hard to know. I think the queen walk was good. Uh, I, I really don't know, guys. I think this was pretty much the best dragons could do against this base. A few tweaks that might just have a random uh, butterfly effect could have made this a three-star but it's hard to know. I uh, hope you guys like the attack. Definitely a very different live attack than what you usually see on the channel. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and back out. The war is pretty much over. So um, I might do a recap. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe just some other videos. But hope you guys are looking forward to the update. I am as well. And uh, yeah, I'll have some more videos coming out over the next few days as I always do. So uh, see you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.